It's Tuesday, June 2nd, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Gaza has the world's highest unemployment rate. According to a World Bank assessment, 43.9% of residents in the Palestinian enclave are jobless. Young Gazans are even worse off, with more than 60% unable to find work. The report says the Palestinian economy declined last year because of violence and the expansion of Israeli settlements. It estimates Gaza's GDP is about the quarter of the size it would be without these issues and Israel's continued blockade of the territory. A team of prosecutors, police, state agents and others is using shelved evidence to close cold rape cases in Ohio. They're testing thousands of rape kits that had until recently been stored for years and sometimes decades. The task force is in a race against the clock. The statute of limitations is set to expire in many of the claims, and suspects in other cases are scheduled to be released after serving prison time for separate charges. Authorities say there are thousands of unsolved cases because rape kits used to be expensive to test and DNA wasn't a trusted source of evidence until the mid to late 1990s. Madagascar's president is fighting to keep his job. Last week, the country's parliament voted to impeach President Rajanari Mampian a little over a year into his term. His opponents have accused him of corruption and failing to deliver on his promises to rebuild the island state following years of crisis. They also say the president violated the constitution by giving speeches in churches. He has publicly dismissed the allegations and questioned the vote count. He says what Madagascar needs is stability, not political wrangling. A Colorado teen has created robotic arms that allow users to control the fingers with their minds. While that technology isn't entirely new, Easton LaChapelle says the best part lies in how they're made and for how much. 3D printing allows you to um, create something that's human-like, something that's extremely customized, again, for a very low cost. The hands each cost around $600 to print. The 19-year-old says he wanted to share his work with the world, so he made his software open source. That gives anyone the ability to customize the limbs to their specific needs. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Да, ну вот если говорить про модель 107, новый 107 автомат, то, конечно, это уже оружие будущего. И мы, кстати, его планировали в этом году продавать в Америке, но, к сожалению, не сможем этого делать.